Hello everyone. Um, it's been a while since I filmed a video, and I decided I would film one for a friend that wanted to see uh, more details about my alternator motor. Um, essentially, what I've done is taken a, uh, I believe, a CS130 standard alternator, um, removed the diode rectifier bridge, and soldered three wires into each leg of the uh, three-phase windings. I've also taken the uh, brushes that go to the rotor um, coil and pulled these out to a uh, pair of wires so I can actually control the amount of current that goes into the rotor field as well as the amount of uh, power that goes into the alternator by a uh, um, a hobby brushless motor speed controller forgive the improvised setup so essentially I have the uh, rotor field coil wired up to a variable current variable voltage power supply and the actual um, speed controller itself is connected to a 20 amp power supply with a uh, car battery backing it up. Well, a uh, sealed lead acid battery. So let's power this up. First, I'm going to apply 3 amps of rotor field current, and then I'm going to apply power to the actual speed controller. Now, throttle up to full. And we're drawing just about 5 amps. I'm going to decrease the rotor field current now, and the RPMs are going to increase. Two amps on the uh, rotor field current. Still about 5.5 amps. 1.5 amp rotor field current. Still about 5.5 amps. It'll really start to shoot up, though. So. One amp on the uh, rotor field current. Okay, we're at about eight amps, nine amps. Ten amps, and I'm probably borderlining on uh, either overheating or just going into overcurrent protection. I'm going to try and get this as high as I can. I've actually never gotten it this high before. I've never used the uh, battery to back this power supply up. Now we're at about 400 milliamps on the rotor field current. Three hundred fifty. Three hundred. Two fifty. That's as high as I want to go. I'm going to start pulling it back down. and power off. It's actually not that hot. Now this is only a 25 amp controller. So, um, with a much larger controller and using higher voltage, so 24, uh, 24 volts going in, should be able to go even faster.